What's up, everybody? I got some sad news. Some very bad news. Not that I'm sick, because I am sick right now. But... I just found out my car was repossessed. And now I don't know what to do. You all know that I have a child on the way. I'm trying to get a job. I'm trying to get stable. I'm trying to get everything in order before he comes in the world. And now this is another step back. This is another problem that I don't know how to deal with. I mean, I had everything a year ago. I, I had everything. I had brand new car. I had good credit. I had a computer, a nice TV, nice everything. I had I had everything. And now that I've left the army, I've just I've lost it all. I, I there's I don't have anything left. The only thing that I originally had from before I left was my fucking TV and this phone. That's all I have left. I've lost my car. I've lost my TV. I've lost my computers. I lost my chair. My credits went down the drain. I can't even go out and get a fucking credit card anymore. My credit's so bad. I, I just don't know what to do anymore, guys. I don't know. I've lost it all, and I don't know how to get it back. I told you I'd keep you updated on what my situation is, and that's what I'm doing. I mean, I hope that I can get out of this situation as fast as possible. Get working again. Get a stable income. Get enough money. Save up for a car. But, but my son's going to be born in 10 weeks from now. I mean, how the hell am I supposed to get a brand new car? Or not even a brand new car. How am I supposed to get $1,500 for a piece of shit car? How am I supposed to save up enough money to get a fucking a vehicle just to get to work every day? How am I supposed to get a job when I can't even get to the work? When I can't even get there without a car? I, I, I don't know what to do. I, I don't know what to do. I mean, I've been dreading this day fucking forever. I mean, I... I didn't think it was going to happen this fast. I didn't think it was going to happen right now, but... It's happened, and I don't have a vehicle anymore. I'm My 2006 Chrysler 300 is gone. I, I don't have a Chrysler 300 anymore. I don't. I, I, it's, it's all gone. No more. It's like when I first joined the military. Like when I first got in. And I, I had nothing. And at least I had credit. At least I could start somewhere. But I fucked up every opportunity that I ever had. And now I can't even fucking do anything. I, the only thing I can do is file for bankruptcy. That's the only fucking thing I can do right now. And even that. It's not going to guarantee me anything. And to make matters worse, I'm fucking sick. I mean, I'm glad that I have my girlfriend and the son on the way and animals that love me and family who supports me, but I can't even provide for anybody anymore. I can't even provide for myself. What the hell is going to happen when this baby comes on the earth and I can't fucking buy him diapers? I can't give him food. I mean, what am I going to... I don't know what to do anymore, guys. I don't. I've lost it all and everything that I've ever had is gone. I mean... I don't know. I don't know anymore, guys. I don't. <laughs> how do I recover from something like this? How do? How am I supposed to fucking? I don't. If I had a job, at least I could fucking save up money. 
to get a new car. To even get a piece of shit fucking old beater up car that runs. I mean, at least I could do that, but I don't, I don't even have a job, but I can do that. I don't even have a license right now. I mean, yes, I have the money set aside for a license, and yes, I have the money put away so what, I can get a license, but what, what good does that do when, you can't even, when I can't even go anywhere? I, I can't do anything. I just don't know what to do anymore, guys. I'm, I'm, I've been trying to figure out what to do. I've been trying to figure out what I need to accomplish and how I need to do it, but I don't know. I don't know what to say. I mean, there's good times and there's bad times, and there's those legendary bad times, and I, and it's starting to be one of them right now. I mean. I'm not in a good position anymore right now, guys. I'm not I'm not in a good fucking position in my life right now. I mean, I I know I could be a lot worse. I know it could be a lot worse than where I'm at. I mean, I could be a fucking heroin addict. I could be fucking an alcoholic. I could be a fucking a I don't know, a fucking heroin dealer. I don't know. I could be fucking locked up right now. I could be in prison. I could be in jail. I could I could have lost custody, custody of my kids. I mean, there's so many things that could be worse than this. But I've never experienced that. I mean, this is the worst I've ever experienced in my life being that. I mean, how am I supposed to build myself back up and get the motivation and the determination? Like, these tattoos that I got, it says dedicated motivated how am I supposed to be either of those things when every time that I do something I end up fucking it up I mean I don't know I don't know I don't know guys, I'm not in a good position right now, my, not, my life is not where I want it to be, I mean, I want to have a child and I want to have a family and I want to raise my kids, but I can't even do that anymore, right? from something like this. Car's gone. No job. <sighs> Past bills. Credit shot. <laughs> Left. Failed the military. I mean, maybe... I probably could have stopped this all from happening. I mean, I probably could have been in a better situation right now if it wasn't for weed. I mean, I'm not saying weed's not a bad thing. I'm not saying it's something that you shouldn't do. Because you guys know me. I love marijuana. I love getting high. I love the experience of it. It enlightens my day. It makes me feel better. But in all honesty, for my stupidity and me not paying for the things that I need to do. Maybe marijuana has led me to this situation. Maybe smoking weed has led me to the situation that I'm in right now. That could have been the that could have been the cause of me being to where I got my car repo today. It it, it could have, it, but I don't know what the reason is. I've made this. I've fucked up my life. It's all my fault. Nobody else's. I've made this, deci this decision and I've put myself in the predicament where I don't even have a car anymore. And
I don't know, guys. Maybe I just need to get shit faced drunk tonight. Maybe that's what needs to happen. Maybe I just need to drink myself into a fucking coma. I'm not going to, but you understand what I'm trying to say. Drink myself stupid. I mean, shit, I went to the store last night and I drank the bottle of Jack Daniels. I finished it off last night. It's all gone. There's still a little bit in there. But I bought this last night. Another one. And then I bought, along with it, I bought, oh shit, that bottle too, which is pretty much a gallon of alcohol. I mean, maybe that's just what I need to do now. I mean, it's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so I'm not going to start drinking now, because that's kind of ridiculous. Fucking end up being a goddamn alcoholic. Shit, I mean, with the amount of alcohol that I've consumed in the last month, I mean, these are all my bottles. And this has been in a month and a half. I mean, you see these? These are half-gallon bottles, guys. I mean, you can consider me alcoholic right now. I mean, I got two of these. I got three quarter-gallon bottles. One big boy version of the same concept as this, same size. And the Jack Daniels, and that's been drank in a fucking month and a half. And then now I got another half gallon bottle in there, the vodka, and then another fucking half gallon bottle of vodka in there too, right there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Don't know what. Know what to do. Fucking go to sleep. Hope for something better. But I'm gonna end this video here because I'm afraid if I don't stop it now, I might not upload. So keep you guys updated and on what's going on, what my situation is, what I'm gonna be doing, and hopefully things will get better. So as always, thanks for watching and.